perfect. So you're not scared? Nah, only thing I'm scared of is God. And now the more and more I realize that I am God, I am its reflection. I'm mm -hmm. not even as scared of that. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? You know what give me just a little fear? Nature. <laughs> nature a motherfucker, man. Really studying nature, seeing how unpredictive it is, seeing mm -hmm. how forever changing it is. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that like really make me shake in my boots at night, like, thinking and meditating on, on nature and how it expresses itself. You plan on leaving the country? No, nah, man, this is my country. I'm originally from here. You know what oh, I'm saying? Shit. We we indigenous to the Americas. I'm not from Africa. So I'm from America. My ancestors are from the Americas. So uh -huh. I don't I don't have a home to go to. I'm I'm at home right now. We gotcha. are the indigenous tribes here in America. We got pyramids here. Mm -hmm. We we got Sphinx here. You know, this is spiritual committal, what you call Egypt. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm at the crib. I'm never leaving. Mm -hmm. I go, for, you know, of course I travel, <laughs> but hey, we here, we the, we the Indians. Mm -hmm. We, we are the aboriginals in the, the, the indigenous to this land. Mm -hmm. I'm home. I'm at the crib. <laughs> I go, for, you know, of course I travel, but hey, we here, we the, we the Indians. Mm -hmm. We, we are the aboriginals in the, the, the indigenous to this land. Mm -hmm. I'm home. I'm at the crib. Of course I travel, but hey, we here, we the, we the Indians. Mm. We we are the aboriginals and the, the, the indigenous to this land. I'm mm -hmm. home. I'm at the crib. <laughs> you plan on leaving the country? No, nah, man, this is my country. I'm originally from here. You know what oh, I'm saying? Shit. We we indigenous to the Americas. I'm not from Africa, so I'm from America. My ancestors are from the Americas, so uh -huh. I don't I don't have a home to go to. I'm I'm at home right now. We gotcha. are the indigenous tribes. Here in America, we got pyramids here. Mm -hmm. We we got Sphinx here. You know, this is spiritual committal, what you call Egypt. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm at the crib. I'm never leaving. Mm -hmm. I go, for, you know, of course I travel, <laughs> but hey, we here, we the we the Indians. Mm -hmm. We we are the aboriginals and the, the the indigenous to this land. Mm -hmm. I'm home. I'm at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. When you say that we're here, um, this is Egypt or this commit. Yeah, so, yeah. Um what do you mean by that? Uh, I mean, so for instance, imagine that everything you've been told is a lie. Like, mm -hmm. what happened if, you know, the city of Yahudim or what they call Judah is actually in Utah? Right. You know what I'm saying? What, like, literally, what happened if ancient Egypt is actually all is is along the whole Euphrates River or what we will call the Mississippi? And then you start studying the Mississippian tribes and you start looking at what they built. They, they, they monuments, they structures, and it looks like Egypt. And then some of this shit is older than actually Egypt. Mm -hmm. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. You go to East St. Louis. It's, you got a place in East St. Louis called the Cahokia Mounds. And it's an old civilization. Indian tribe called themselves the Cahokians. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you look at these mounds. These mounds were pyramids. Then you start digging in these mounds. You find in hieroglyphs. They done found emerald tablets with Hebrew writings on it, the Hebrew commandments on it, and they and they carbon dated these things back, and it's older than things that's actually in what they call Egypt today. Mm -hmm. It's a conflict right there. I gotta start questioning things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and then even when you get into the scripture and you get into Revelation chapter 18 on and on up, it calls America spiritual Egypt. Then if you read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter uh uh chapter uh 28. Uh, verse 68, it says that the people of Yisrael, or, or they, what they call the Hebrew Israelites, it said that they will go into Egypt again by way of ships. You see what I'm saying? And then you start really studying slave history and what's really going on here. It's like, hold on, maybe we already up in this deal. Mm -hmm. So me personally, I think that they tampered and flipped the maps, man, just like they made us believe in disease when the disease don't even exist. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a disease. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Perfect.